Can he, can we man here the first pick? He can, draws it in to Roberts. Oh, how has that not gone in? It looked like Otto would just get a touch on that. It was in. What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode from the Plymouth Flex Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit that like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content on the channel. Down below is my Let's Play channel and my FIFA channel as well. Go check those out. FIFA's on pause right now. New game for that now, out in 11 days. I just want to rest on that before we get the new thing, new FIFA coming out. And there's going to be every day that upload on that channel anyway. So, yeah. Um... Down below my Twitch channel, I'm Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I've been ill last week, and I do apologise. Uh, I hope to be better by Monday. But the thing is, I'm also getting a flu jab on Saturday. So hopefully I don't get ill from that. But I can't remember, I can't remember if I got it last time. I don't think I did, but hopefully I'll be okay. So, um, games off camera. We're doing about the old style again with the clips. And also, the change of fixture list, because one game's been, again, a game's been, been, been postponed. Also, deadline day. Um, we may actually do some business on deadline day for another striker. And I'll explain as to why in a second. So, quickly get off camera. Let's take a look. Yeah, so as you can see, this point we lost to Charlton. A uh, very even game, I felt. We could have got some out of that one. And the Southern game was a weird one. We were brilliant in the first half. The second we scored the first goal, we were the second best team in the whole match. But we did, I did work out what they were doing. And I did start man marking some people and I shut them down. Um, but yeah, it's a Salford game. Good result there. League table looks like this. We are currently 10th, which is where they want us to finish this season, to be honest. Um, so, not terrible. Now, I'm working on some scouting on, scouting on some strikers because Ryan Hyde has got injured. If he gets injured, I don't have a natural striker of outside of him, uh, outside of him and his partner, Leighton Stewart. So I'm looking to bring someone else in. But I don't know if I'm going to do that. Do the deal. I also brought in Patrick Roberts, a player you may have seen in the previous uh, episode of the start of the season, the transfer special. I got him a free transfer. He virtually agreed to sign for me. Um, so he's in and I've loaned out Pochettino out. Um, just made sense to do that. Um, I want this guy from minute one. And the first game we got an assist, as you saw. So today's games are going to be basically Reading and Tottenham. And then we're going to have deadline day as well. If we don't do a deal. If we just to see if we can do a deal or anything like that. So Reading at home in the league. Let's see if we can perform like we did against um, Salford. If we do... I'm confident we can get the result, um, but I feel like we do. We, there was, it, I feel like it could go either way. This game, it really, really could. We lost to Reading, of course, um, in the in the was it the cup? We lost them in, didn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah. So we kind of owe them a little bit. It went a bit faster, guys. I do apologise. I've been watching games off camera. So here we go, folks. Let's see how we get on today. Hopefully, a better performance than last time we played them. Though to be fair, we were a better team until that error from the goalkeeper. For now, for Yaldum, is that the guy's name? Cooper, is it clear? Assel. Hammertine. Oh, I've I don't know his name. Cooper now on the ball. Cooper down the left. Good run down the left inside. Can you find a ball in the box, though? Is anyone in there? Not many. Finds Kamara. Kamara. Back to Grant. Now, Kamara. Nah, I wasn't on that shot. Galloway. Don't take your time with that. Free kick here, long ball. Bobbitts is on, chasing that down. Doesn't get there. Finds Breed on the right-hand side. He's got a bit of space to run into. Not much, but enough to find a cross, maybe. He's found Grant instead. Grant finds a cross to Patrick Roberts, who shoots and it's blocked. It's a decent start. Um, nothing clear-cut created yet. Got a corner kick, though. We might get something from this, though. Roberts is going to take it. 
Needs to be a good ball in here. It's not terrible, but no one's there. Arsenal gets it back on control. We've got time to find Wilson. Wilson to Kamara. To Kamara. Roberts. Offside. Yeah, just to help him out, lads. You're getting too... Yeah, go on, Bree. Get a good ball in the box now if you can. Back to him again. To Stewart. It's that kind of game. We're getting the good balls in the wide areas very well, but I'm trying to get away from those looping balls in the box all the time because I don't like. I don't want to play that way. Roberts to the corner kick. Curls it in. And... Oh, good performance so far. Not quite a chance yet, though. This is to create a chance. I think Roberts will score if we get give, give, give an opportunity. But the problem is we're not creating those opportunities for him. Grant to Bree. Now Assel Roberts Bree. He's looking really live down his right hand side for all season. To be fair, he's got a chance to get a ball in the box here. If he finds Roberts, he does. Roberts Grant just hits it off the bar. Cooper's in there and it's 1-0. Plymouth 1, Reading 0, unless he's offside. He's not. He's given the goal. We've been the better side in this game and we've found the lead. Brilliant stuff. Um, just, that right side so much better than it. So much better. Now we've got Grant and we've got uh, Robertson Bree there. Good shot from Grant. Unlook it. It falls to Cooper and an easy finish. 1-0. It's not, it's nothing more than we deserve because we've been the better side and it's the first real chance we've had. Throw in. Assel. Kamara to Cooper. Grant hits it, blocked, and that's been cleared. There's a counter on here now. Hopefully, Wilson can get the ball off him. He's not really getting close enough to him, but we've got the boys back, back now. Probably is the problem. Freaky for Reading here. That's too easy. That's too easy. Marking is really poor at the moment. Good goalkeeping, good hands. <laughs> Galloway to the fullback. There you go. Hamelin. I'm going to call him that. It's probably not right, but I'm going to call him it anyway. Again, I hate when they do that. Play the pass over the top or bog or backwards. Don't run straight forward into a defending of the ball away. It's so frustrating when you do that. Long ball. Jump for the ball, somebody. Roberts, can you get it on control? He can. Roberts down the right hand side. He's got Bree arriving to help him out. Now, Assel. Bree again. Done well here. Fans across to Stewart. He's looking lively. He's getting in the right area. Just at the moment, they're just reading what he's doing, unfortunately. He's not, he's not had a clear good chance to score yet. Bob was in a corner kick, though. Swings in the penalty area. Cleared again. Back to Cooper. Who's got time to bring this down? Can he get the ball forward? No, he can't. Good tackle from Reading. Half time, better side. Not many clear cut chances, um, but the one kind of chance we did get, we've taken it. I'm going to say Duncan Capesnet out there. I think, I've wondered if we've had, we had, we had Hardy on the pitch today. I think we, we, we'd be a couple of goals ahead by now because he's got that physicality and he's obviously got a great goal scoring record last season. But Breed on this side was absolutely brilliant. So is Patrick, so is Patrick Orwich, to be fair as well. Um, so that's encouraging. Bree, we're throwing. Finds Assel. Now Bree again. Grant. Breed on the right. Finds a cross to the far post. Nobody's there, though. Stuart picks it up, though. Can he can he be his man here? The first pack? He can. Draws it in to Roberts. Oh, how has that not gone in? It looked like I had to just get a touch on that. It was in. Unless the defender... I can not see what the commentary said. But that's another good chance. We've got to finish this team off. Better team. You've got to be more cl clinical. Are you kidding me? Wow. Come on, boys. Be more clinical in the final third. Throwing taken. I just got a sneaky feeling we'll get FMD. We've been a better side for the whole match. We just can't find the finish to get the second to finish this game off at the moment. Long ball of pitch. Don't win the header. That's bad. We've got to win those headers. We don't win those headers. We're, we're going to struggle. Straight ball through them. Good save. Yeah, we just got the, the two many players are missing too many chances. We've got to be more clinical. Um, and we've got our sustained performances as well. We can't play well for 25 minutes or half. And then they slip, slip, we've got to either kill the game off or come into and control of the game. Assel, come on, get the second goal, lads. It's not hard. Assel, again, just bad decision making in the final third. Cooper, Assel, get it wide. Look at the, look at the space we've got in the wide areas here. Get it to one of them. Not that way, other way. What was the free kick here? It's in! Tim of two, Reading nil. I hate those highlights, but we deserve that goal. We've been the better side, and finally we found that better quality. Tim of two, Reading nil. Surely another three points in the bag here. We've 
been dominant. How we only scored two up to now, I have no... Well, I don't know why. But finally, the second goal has gone in. Well, it's been what I would say is almost a perfect performance, really. Uh, they almost scored at the end there. But it looks like we're going to win the game by two goals to nil. Any moment now, which we should go. And there we go. Plymouth 2, Reading nil, Fully deserved. I mean, the XG... What was the XG in that game? 2.08. Yeah, we should have scored more. I think we should have at least three. Um, but good result... And it, suddenly, it looks like a different team uh, with Patrick Robinson on the right, right hand side. And look at that, we're now at the sixth in the table, but we've been here before, aren't we? Anyway, uh, Spurs next. That is going to be probably be tricky. Right, folks, here are match number two against uh, Spurs on 23 23s. And I'm going to make a couple of changes to the lineup just to make sure we don't get any injuries, injury issues. Also, I've got issues with the fact that people need to be brought in anyway because of this reason. Bolton's going to play at centre-back against my better judgement, but he has to because I need, I need people in there. Uh, Kamara's out for Dendonka. I was going to do it anyway, to be honest. Um, and I'm going to bring in Ryan Broom for Assel, and I'm going to bring in... How can he play? Yeah, he needs to get some fitness in him, so we're going to play him for Stewart instead, uh, just to give him a bit of time, and Avalos can go off the bench, yeah. So let's see how we get on, folks. I mean, this is a kind of a throwaway game, really, because I'm not overly bothered by this competition. Uh, I think they're still better side than us. I mean, look at their lineup. I mean, for God's sake, they've got, they've got Darwin Nunes and Lucas Moura in this team. Well, 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 we've, well, we've lost. I mean, I knew they have decent players, but I didn't think they had those two in it. Oh, my God. I mean, fair enough. I mean, why the hell not? Um, anyway, anything's a bonus in this game. The only worry is that if we lose by a big margin, it might affect our perform- it might affect our league performance stuff to this. But hopefully we can give a, even w- w- off win the game. But I have a feeling it's going to be a big, bit, of a, bit of an ask to do that. Yeah, not many really hearts this game at all. I mean, literally one highlight, if you're two, if you can't kick off. Um, Robert's on the right-hand side. Broom. Back to Grant. Grant to breed on the right hand side. Needs to people in the penalty to get, get the ball to. And no one's out. Cooper's in the far post. I mean, there's been half chances like that, really, the 12 highlights, haven't there? Well, given that they've got Lucas Moore and Darren Nunes in this team, we're actually doing quite well. But there's literally not many highlights. And it's not even like one of the key highlights either, which is, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing when we're competing, we're competing with this team. I mean, I think from general form, it just means we don't, don't want to get our asses kicked because that might affect morale massively. Though it shouldn't do based on the fact that it's a 123 team from the Premier League side. Oh, Robert's almost in there. But he's brilliant. I'm, I'm so happy I signed him. Uh, Grant, Bree again. Go for it, lad. Roberts. Can you find a pass? Grant, Roberts. Broom. Bree cuts it in, tries to at least, and no, 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 no joy. We're a better side, believe it or not. We're a better team here. Roberts with a corner kick, curls it in. Cleared. Roberts, go get that. That's just lazy. Go get it now. Before... There you go. Well done. Just couldn't be earlier than that. Bree. We've got to create a chance though at some point. Bree. Roberts. Can you pick out a pass? He can to Broom. Roberts, ah, uh, just, we have got the quality, oh, it's Parrot now, down the right, down the left-hand side, so I keep getting, on, keep getting on the wrong side, over with that, it's one of my things, good tackle there. Okay, make another change, because uh, Cooper's going to come off, and we're going to bring on, um, um, Danny Mayer, take off Hardy, because he needs to be just rested and protected a little bit, and Roberts can come off for Garrick, for Garrick as well. Just to give us some fresh legs in attacking sense, see if we can nick a win here. Well, penalty shootout again. And we've not won a penalty shootout in um, a while, uh, it feels like. So, let's see how we get on. I mean, I think we're a better team in that game, but I mean, I think you, I think the way it works is you get a point for this, don't you, if you win this penalty shootout. So, let's see how we get on today in this one. Um, we are probably second favourites in this game um, overall. But we get back with a penalty shoot at White Steps up. Good save. We've saved the first penalty. Well done, keeper. Grant taking our first penalty now. <laughs> Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Come on, Garrick. Don't let me down here, mate. Oh, good penalty. Really powerful. Come on, goalkeeper. Do it again. You did it once. Come on, Bowden. You don't, you don't want to score this, Bowden. You don't want to score this. Oh. Clearly he does. Clearly he does. Mayer now taking this. Good penalty. Good penalty. Into the corner. Powerful. Like it. Casanova? 
Oh, are you kidding me? Come on, Bray, don't do what... Oh. How unlucky have we been there? That penalty from Casanova, I think he, he, he literally he was right at the goalkeeper. He just couldn't save it. I think we're going to lose this game, lose this game. Yeah, I mean, we didn't create a single chance. I was literally down to bad luck. Um, based on the four players they had with Lucas Moura, um, it's it's actually I don't think it's a good thing or a bad thing that we could we could have won that game. Like, should we looking to win that? We get we get a point from it at least losing the penalty shootout. I like, get two points from so we're still having a chance to get out of this group. Um, obviously, but that's disappointing. I feel like we should have done better with that. Uh, I felt like we could have won that if we put the first one. Maybe we would have done. But I've got to give some kind of rotation and fitness. Right. So deadline day, um, we're gonna. Of course, that's been a quite a short section of the game anyway. We're going to actually watch Deadline Day and see if we can get some transfers done. Another striker idea is what I need. Um, I would have kept Ennis, but he wanted to leave, so yeah, needs must. So, folks, got, got to keep drinking because obviously my uh, throat is still buggered. So, I'll come back to you when we get to get Deadline Day. Right, guys, here we are at Deadline Day, and we're still looking for some news to come through on certain strikers that I'd like to sign. These guys here have been linked with us off the down here, and all these guys are going to sign for us. I don't know what these guys are on about. Um, I like this feature, but I'm kind of behind you, let's get done, maybe just done early. So I'm still waiting for some scout reports to come through on some players. Um, hopefully, we'll get them. Wait, where are they on here? Um, it's filtered. Yeah, it's filtered them by striker. Could have sworn I was. Yeah, I mean, some of these guys are not who I was after. Um, assignments, are we still looking at them? We were looking at them. I don't know why it's not, it's not letting me, it's not telling me about. Okay, so look at look. Um, see, it's not Dwight Gale's one I'm looking at. I was looking at him. Yeah, we are. He's on the. As a shot, that's the guy I'm looking at. Dwight Gale's who I'm looking at as an option, as a poacher. That's the guy I'm waiting to hear back from for a scout report on him. Um, I'm hopeful we'll get something from him soon. Uh, however, I don't think... Uh, I might take a, take a punt on him um, if we can possibly do the deal. We'll have to wait and see, though, won't we? Um, I don't think the scout wasn't going to in for him quickly enough. So we might have to take a punt on him. I don't want to risk going, going much longer and not get the deal done for him. So, uh, Dwight Gale, um, let's have a look. Let's see if they're off, if we can get a deal done here for like 100k with like installments. Because I'd feel like... 115k... You know what? I'm doing that deal. I just want to get another striker in. I didn't want to get rid of... Okay, he's a slightly interested. Wages could be a problem here. Um, I can't improve that. I can't, I'm not doing that for you. I'm not improving that either. Let's see what he says to that. Okay, he's willing to sign. 13 grand he wants. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah, walk away from that one then. Okay, so we have to keep looking. Um, I mean, McNeil will be awesome. I mean, I would like him on loan as another option. I don't think they're going to let him go on loan though. I just don't get why they're keeping him. They're not going to. They're clearly not going to play him, are they? Um, so we're looking a bit, looking a bit thin on striker options really now. Um, so I'll go to, we'll, we'll come back to you when this one gets offered to us or, I get, or an idea pops up. Okay, folks, got a striker in on loan. I've gone for Charlie McNeil. I've just, I've tried various different deals and I just, they were just not wanting to join or not join on certain chances that we wanted. So we've got Charlie McNeil in on loan. Um, and I don't think he'll be here next season, clearly. Uh, but he's just a different option of striker, uh, to give me that ability just to, alter it so um no more business will be done deadline day that is the end of the business um we've got three strikers now it's just for numbers sake if someone gets a big injury i need somebody else as a striker and chai mcneil is is okay i mean i've got a lot of offers come through like josh murphy's the one i looked at um as an option but I feel like we think what we've got now um i just, I just will check what mcneil is uh, expected to be played. I did but I put down a squad player so he shouldn't actually be 
demanded to play. They can withdraw him. Uh, they can't. Hang on, can be recalled. Loan cannot be ret- loan cannot be terminated. Anyway, I doubt they will. Um, but we've got plenty of strikers now. Just needed somebody else for numbers in those positions. I don't like silver striker. He's more of a winger. So yeah, can I leave can I leave the down there or, or can I leave the can I leave the land there or no, apparently not. Anyway, guys, we'll come back to you. Let's have a look at this episode, right? We'll come back for Crew and Rotherham. Um, I think the next game. What should we do? Now, nah, Rotherham and Burton Albion, because there's another cup game in here. It's four games off camera. We can do a cup game here. Yeah. So if you have enjoyed the episode, I hope you have hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Check out the FIFA channel and let's be let's be channel down below. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye bye.